I'm sorry for the delay in tutorials. I've been busy with school, but I am finally finished. Well, not finished, but I'm on my uh, summer vacation. So now it's time to get back into recording. So uh, originally, I planned on creating the rollovers for the navigation bar, but that's kind of boring. So we are going to create the main content area instead. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump right into uh, Dreamweaver and we are going to make sure we are within the page wrap tags right after the navigation bar uh, go down a little bit and we are going to create a div with the ID of left side alright close that up and let's make a couple of spaces here and now this main content area we are splitting it up into three parts the one part is going to be the title which is the top part and then the what is it the background and then the text within the background so we are going to create a uh, another div div with the ID of um, we'll call it title bar okay and then within this title bar let's just make some quick uh, some quick h1 tags and here we'll put latest news and then close that off. And now after that we want that content area which is going to have the text and it's going to be div id equals content. And we'll just close that off for now. And let's make a, little, a couple of comments so we know where everything is. So just put uh, oops, left side start and then let's have left side end alright just so we know what we're looking at okay so now that we have that there let's go into the CSS and let's create a new section just like this and we are going to name this left side and we start off with uh, let's start with uh, left side the main box surrounding everything so that's a uh, pound sign left side and we want the width to be 615 pixels so it's going to have enough room for the title bar and then a little bit of space on each side and then the height is going to be auto so it resizes when we add more text uh, margin top is 5 pixels margin left is uh, 34 pixels and that's just so it's not hugging the side of the web browser and then we want to float left alright close that up and if we previewed it we would see nothing <laughs> so we won't so now we want to um, let's create the, the title bar so we have the pound sign title bar open that up and we want the background to have a URL of um, the title bar image which is images slash title underscore bg dot png and we don't want it to repeat as usual and zero zero and the width is going to be 615 pixels height is 63 pixels and we want it to float in the center so it's going to be mar margin zero auto so we close that up and let's save that and hope I have the file names correct uh, reload and yes I do so now it looks pretty nice but we haven't styled the H1 yet so we just have this weird floaty thing right here so we're just going to leave that for now and let's create the content area so uh, it is the ID of content so let's just come over here and do this pound sign and content and again we want to give it a uh, background color and the background color is going to be this green that's right behind the title bar so it's a background and the color is um, 737 E 
5b okay and then we're just going to give it a uh, minimum height this doesn't work in internet explorer 6 you're not going to see this this is a this is just a minimum height so it has some uh, space you'll see one second um, min height we're just going to put 400 pixels just something nice and then height we're going to put auto and this is going to be because internet explorer 6 doesn't see the minimum height so we need to give it a height of auto as well and then padding we're going to put 15 pixels so close it up and save it and if we reload it and you can see it gave us a 400 pixels of minimum height so if we were to change this to let's say 200 pixels reload it it shrinks it up quite a bit more so I just like to give it something nice we'll just stick with we'll go with 300 reload that and there you go alright so now let's uh let's create that h1 tag which is this latest news right here and I just got the information from uh, the original design so let's find um let's go to the top here and let's put it right here um right after body so we will go h1 and then open it up and we want the font family to be Arial and um, the font size is 30 pixels and then the font weight is going to be bold the color for this one was um, 9EA986 I don't think that's right oh forgot the pound sign here um, and then we close that off and we want to give it a padding to the left side now let's try 30 pixels and uh, what else is there padding top let's try 20 pixels save that and uh, let's see what that looks like uh, refresh uh, not bad but we wanted to uh, the L to sit on the bottom here and we're going to scoot it over to the left I mean, to the right a little bit so let's just try something like 27 pixels and change this to 50 reload that and that's quite a bit better we can get it down just a little bit more maybe 29 pixels that looks better um and that's actually going to be it. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, we have the main content area. And then next time we will start the sidebar. And then we'll do the rollover buttons because those aren't very fun. So uh, once again, I want to apologize for the delay in tutorials. Uh, they won't be that long anymore. So we can finally get this website finished and move on to uh, more fun things. And I want to remind you guys to please subscribe and to comment on the bottom let me know uh, what you think of this maybe some other tutorial ideas and I will get to them as soon as possible thank you for watching and see you next time